What's going on guys, Joe with OMGRC.com. Welcome, and this one is about the Red Cat Scout Gen 9. These things are already out. You can order them now from us, OMGRC.com. Link down in the description below for a blue one and also their, I think it's graphite white. If I'm not mistaken, some graphite is what they call it. So we'll go ahead and just go click on the blue one here, but yeah, you guys can order right away. We don't have to worry about anything as far as uh, pre-orders, all that good stuff. So right off the bat, I already called Red Cat in regards to this thing. This thing looks sick. They did an awesome job on this one. I do like this interior. I've had something like this with the Axe Edition. I've had that one video on that one a long time ago. It was brushless and all that stuff. This is definitely a little bit cheaper, but it's got two-speed transmission in here. It's always good. It's got the portal axles. It's got some crazy bead locks on here. I like the tire design that they came up with as of now. Uh, definitely upgraded some of the electronics when it comes to the servo. It could be a 25 kilogram by default. If you get a BEC that has more power, uh, I think it's 8.4 volts. It can go to like a 42 kilogram uh, servo. So that's pretty ridiculous as far as that one goes. Yeah. So let me know what you guys think about this thing. I saw a lot of people excited about it. I do like it. It's got interior. So that's a cool thing. So you can put some figures in there or whatever. Uh, I wonder if they're going to come out with a little canopy that you could put like on the other previous Axe Edition. It came with like a soft top that you could put on there. So that was pretty cool. So, but if anything, hey man, handy enough or whatever, put some fabric on there. If we want to cover that little part up or whatnot. But cool, it's got LED light buckets. They don't come included. But also something new for night navigation. I did catch a little issue with... Um, little spelling issue that I saw with it too. It said might instead of light, but uh, I'll correct it on our website, but definitely, um, yeah, right here. So I, so it's got LED light buckets. It's got 14 LEDs that you can install on this. So that's pretty, pretty freaking awesome. Um, yeah, here it says, um, for in, so rock lights inside the uh, fender well for it should be night navigation. Um, but there you go. So that's cool. I've been noticing that a little bit more on some of the crawlers and stuff. So very cool. Night crawling would be definitely an awesome thing. I liked it. I've done it a few times recently and I, I like it. It's pretty cool. Crawling in just in general is pretty nice just to kind of even just trail trailing around with your friends. But this thing's got two speed transmission. So I was told in first gear, it's about as fast as it would be with the Gen 8. Now with the second gear and it, yeah, it's like a Wendigo is what I was told. Some It's going to be faster. And they're referring to the Red Cat Wendigo. That's a brushless one. But who knows? This thing might be like going about 20 miles an hour or something. I don't know. We'll have to kind of see. Maybe someone does a, a speed run with one of these, I guess, to see what how fast they are bone stock. They can take 2S and 3S. They're a 40, milli, uh, 40 amp electronic speed controller with a 17 turn brushed motor. But yeah. Another thing that's awesome about this, and I really liked it about the Red Cat Gen 8, I'm sorry, on the Gen 7, was this clamshell opening. This was always nice. I like this, and now they come out with, Red Cat, you're doing an awesome job. Uh, they got some good engineers working there, so we're going to see some really cool stuff come out this year, I was told. So be prepared for more stuff from Red Cat. I was told there's quite a few cars in the pipeline, so be on your toes. So yeah, this is cool. A hinge in the back. And then also it's got the little hinges for the front where the light buckets would attach right in here. Very cool. Like I said, I liked it on my Gen 7. That was one thing. It was definitely a plus just to kind of hinge it open, drop your battery in there. You don't have to worry about any kind of, um, you know, body clips and stuff, but you can still, it does come with the body post. So in case you want to run a different body or anything like that, they do have those body posts included more or less for universal fitment. So very nice on that part of it. Yeah, man. I mean, it's nice clearance on here. There's that servo. Very, very nice. So yeah, you got your 1.9 when it comes to that one. This thing, aluminum center case. So yeah, this metal when it comes to, or aluminum case for the servo. I'm digging it. So I don't know, man. I, I like to really like to have one of these. Now, as far as the rims go, this looks like the same rim that I've seen on the Gen 8. Uh, they were chrome. This one looks to be, this one's chrome too. It's got the little center cap for it, but it's got a lot more bead locks. Now I do only show maybe like five, maybe five or six of them. And the rest are all 
going to be, you know, just fake the rest of the screws. But that's still nice. It's kind of, I like the styling of it. Anyhow, the tires are definitely new. Those are not the super swampers or whatnot that they had the other tread pattern. I like these. These look nice. Look like they're going to uh, do really well. So excited about it. So definitely leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys think about this, but links down in the description below so you can kind of read it all up. But it is a 110 scale. It's a four, four by four. It's got two speeds to it. You can run on one and two S LiPo, four double A's for your radio. And assuming there's a switch on there, so you can put this thing into first gear and second gear, that kind of deal. So I'm liking it. Definitely liking it. I'm like what Red Cat's doing always. So this is good here. We can see a little servo here for it. Um, so I'm liking it. The body colors, uh, as far as what color do you guys like? Which one would you go with? I kind of favor, I'm going to say probably the blue one. That would be my, the blue one is more my favorite. I like that. So it looks good. The gray one or the whatever you want to call it, that graphite one looks pretty good, but I want something to kind of pop a little bit more. So I definitely would go, my personal choice would be the blue. It'd be nice to see them both in person. Um, but yeah, man, we got these in stock and I like the detail that they got with this too. Just super excited for this one. So yeah, I hope you guys are too. And like I said, links down in the description below if you guys want to get one of these, get a couple of them, whatever. But um, yeah, definitely appreciate you guys watching as always. I'll catch you real soon. Thank you again for watching. You guys take care. Later.